Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Python 3.7 and PyCharm IDE on Windows 10. Okay, so first of all, let's install Python 3.7. So for this, you have to open your web browser and go to this address bar and type this URL python.org. Okay, and after that, hit enter key on the keyboard. And you can see, guys, we are on the Python website. Okay. And here we have the downloads okay and here we have this download for Windows and here we have this Python 3.7.4 so just click on this button and just select the destination where you want to save this Python uh, exe file okay so I want to save it on my desktop so I need to click on this to select it okay and after that click on this save button and at the bottom left of my browser you can see it's downloaded okay so let me go to my desktop okay guys so here we have this exe file of python 3.7.4 okay so in order to run this just double click on this and here we have this a uh, security warning click on this run and here we have this window uh, python 3.7.4 setup okay so install python 3.7.4 32 bit okay we have and here we have some options install launcher for all users and it is the recommended choice okay so you can see it's now selected and here we have this second option add python 3.7 to path okay so just like this by clicking on it and after that click on this install now uh, this button okay and you can see here we have the path uh, where you know this python will be installed okay so just click on this install now this option okay and you can see it's installing so we need to wait and you can see guys here we have this message a uh, setup was successful okay and here we have this close button click on this close button okay guys so in order to check whether this python uh, 3.7.4 installed or not okay so in order to confirm that you have to open your command prompt so just click on this search box and just do a search for command prompt okay and here we have this uh, command prompt tab click on it to open it it's now opened and just type this uh, python space dash dash version okay and hit enter key on the keyboard and you can see guys here we have this python 3.7.4 installed okay on windows 10 so let me close this command prompt okay guys so uh, python 3.7 is installed uh, let's install this pycharm ide okay so in order to install pycharm ide first of all we have to download the setup file of pycharm ide okay so just open your web browser uh, let me close this python website okay and you have to open this website google.com okay and just do a search for pycharm ide okay and here we have this pycharm ide link uh, from jetbrains.com uh, click on this link okay uh, let me close this also okay guys so here we have this pycharm ide uh, the python ide for professional developers uh, click on this uh, download button okay and here we have this download pycharm for windows mac and linux okay so we are on windows so just click on this to select it okay it's already selected and guys here we have this professional and community version okay so uh, if you download this professional version so you need to pay for that okay but in this tutorial we are going to download and install this community version uh, for pure python development okay so just click on this uh, download button you can see over here free and open source so just click on this download button and here you can see thank you for downloading pycharm and just select the destination where you want to save this uh, exe file of pycharm ide okay so I want to save it on my desktop so I need to click on this to select it okay and after that click on this save button and at the bottom left of my browser you can see it's downloading so we need to wait 
okay guys you can see that the file has been downloaded okay so let me go to my desktop uh, you can see here we have this uh, pycharm community edition uh, the exe file okay so in order to uh, run this just double click on this okay and here we have this open file security warning click on this run button and you can see guys here we have this welcome to pycharm community edition setup of uh, this window click on this next button okay and here we have the destination folder where pycharm ide will be installed okay so if you want to change this click on this browse button and just select the folder where you want to install this but i am leaving this as you know a default okay and after that click on this next button okay and here we have this installation options window opened uh, configure your pycharm community edition installation okay and here we have this create a desktop shortcut okay so here we have this 64 bit launcher so i am selecting this by clicking on this box okay and here we have this update context menu so i am not you know checking this i am leaving this as you know default and here we have this create associations okay so if you want to associate your python files with pycharm you can select this option okay but i am not selecting that and i am leaving other things as default okay and after that click on this next button and here we have this uh, choose the start menu folder choose a start menu folder for the pycharm community edition shortcuts okay so i'm leaving this as default okay and then click on this install button so it's installing so we need to wait and you can see guys here we have this completing pycharm community edition setup okay and here we have this uh, shortcut created okay uh, click finish to close setup so if you want to run pycharm community edition you can just you know check this box by clicking on it and then click on this finish button so it's launching so we need to wait you can see and here we have this import pycharm settings from this window opened okay because i'm installing pycharm ide first time on this computer so i don't have any settings okay so i i just need to select this do not import settings and then click on this ok button so it's opening here we have this data sharing uh, i'm selecting this dot send okay okay guys and here we have this customize pycharm okay you can just select the themes and here we have this dark theme uh, darkula and here we have this light theme okay so just like i'm selecting this you know light theme okay and after that click on this next featured plugins okay this button and you can see that here we have this you know featured plugins but i'm not installing any plugins right now okay and here we have this start using pycharm click on this button start using pycharm it's opening okay guys so it's now opened let's create one project so here i have this create a new project this link let me click on this okay and guys here we have this new project window opened okay and here we have the location where our project will be saved so let me type the project name okay so i want to create hello world uh, this project okay and i'm leaving other things as default you can see okay guys and after that click on this create button so it's loading project so i need to wait for this so you can see creating virtual environment okay guys so it's now done and here we have the tip of the day this window i am clicking on this close button let me maximize this pycharm ide okay and here we have this hello world uh, this project created okay so let me create one python file and print hello world and let's see whether it's working or not okay so i need to right click on this hello world this project okay and here we have this new and then click on this python file okay and here we have this new python file window opened so let me give it a name hello and here we have this python file let me double click on this python file and you can see that here we have this hello.py 
a file created okay so let me type the python code that will print hello world okay so let me type this print in parenthesis and in quotes hello world okay and in order to run this you have to right click on this file okay and here we have this run hello so let me click on this run hello and you can see guys here we have this hello world output okay so guys that's it uh, in this way you can easily install python 3.7 and pycharm ide on windows 10 so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye